Tornadoes and severe thunderstorms rarely come as a complete surprise, so it's important to know how to use National Weather Service information to help you and your family be ready for the storms. The National Weather Service is made up of 122 local forecast offices all around the United States. Each of these offices has a county warning area, a group of counties that they are responsible for issuing forecasts and warnings for. The Norman Forecast Office covers the western two-thirds of the state of Oklahoma, as well as eight counties in western North Texas. Our mission is to issue warnings and forecast and provide weather information to help protect life and property. The National Weather Service uses a three-tier approach to provide severe weather information. Outlooks, watches, and warnings work together to give you information on the scale of days, hours, and minutes before a tornado or severe thunderstorm occurs. Another way to look at this information, though, is the ready, set, go concept. The outlook phase is the time to get ready for severe weather. When the watch is issued, that's time to get set and, and in position to move quickly should a warning be issued. When the warning is issued, that's the time to go, not the time to be planning or getting ready. So when we talk about outlooks, we're talking about information provided by the National Weather Service that talks about storms that may happen many, many hours or even days from now. The outlook may cover parts of several states and it will be very general in nature. It may say there's a chance of severe thunderstorms over the central and southern plains in this example. We can't be specific, you know, three, four, or five days in advance, but we can give you enough information to say, if you have plans coming up this weekend, you might want to pay attention because there could be severe weather in the area. So when you're in the ready phase, when you're looking at an outlook of, of severe weather in your area, that's a good time to review your safety plans, make sure that you know what you're going to do if that severe weather does materialize and you have to take shelter from a, a tornado, for example. Where are you going to be during the time that this severe weather is forecast? Are you going to be at home where you can have all your normal sources of information or are you going to be traveling in an unfamiliar area? If you have a storm shelter, is it ready? Have you vacuumed it out for the season? Is it cleaned out? Is it ready for action should you need it? And when the outlook phase, when you're in that ready or outlook phase, that's, it's, that's a good time to be checking the weather daily because things change as, as the event grows closer. When it gets time for the day of the event and the, and the, and the um, severe weather is imminent or is expected to develop quickly, or in the next few hours, a watch will be issued. This might be a tornado or a severe thunderstorm watch. A watch just means that conditions are favorable for severe weather in and close to that watch area. When you're in the set phase, the watch phase, that's the time to really think about, okay, if a warning is issued later today or tonight, how will I get that warning? Where am I going to be when severe weather is expected to happen? This is also a good time to be sure your family and friends know what's expected with the weather. Uh, people may not be as tuned in as you are to the weather, and they may be completely unaware that there's a threat of tornadoes or severe thunderstorms uh, in their area that afternoon or evening. And again, just check the weather often because things change as we get closer to the event. By the time we get into warning phase, that's the time when you should already know what you're going to do and you should be doing it. If a tornado warning is issued for your area, you should go to shelter immediately. And if you've done your planning correctly, you'll know where that shelter area is without much hesitation at all. If a warning is issued for a county nearby or the storm is still approaching your county, you need to monitor that storm constantly. Storms never travel in perfectly straight lines or at perfectly steady speed, so you need to be sure that you understand exactly what's happening with that storm. Monitoring television, social media, uh, National Weather Service, NOAA Weather Radio, and other information sources will give you details on what's happening with the storm. And again, tell your family and friends. Use social media, telephone, text message, whatever you can do to make sure everybody in your local family and friend network knows what's going on with the weather. Now, the warning is only successful when it reaches you, when you receive that warning, and when you're able to hear the warning, you understand what the warning means, and you're able to believe the information. Um, that's all a very critical part of a successful warning, but the most important part of a successful warning is action. If you get the warning, 
and don't do anything about it, then the warning is a failure. So pay close attention to the warnings, know what's going on around you, and if a warning is issued for your location, don't hesitate, act, take cover, and protect yourself. Using the National Weather Service information, if you're paying attention, you may have days to prepare, not just minutes, but days to prepare if you're paying attention to all those outlooks, watches, and then the warnings. You can help the National Weather Service by being a force of nature. Show your family and friends just how easy it is to be ready for severe storms and be sure that you share information through your whole family and friend network about the possibility of severe weather as we get into the spring season.